This is Project Ungoverned, a podcast looking at the brave new world of online education. New ways of learning, new ways of teaching, and the promise of unprecedented access to education. The boom in new education technology has sparked a gold rush, attracting new companies, global institutions, and investors. But who creates the rules of engagement and who enforces them? Is online learning ungoverned? I'm Nicole Harkin, an award-winning writer and former good government analyst. And I'm Dr. Kim Oakes, an education strategist specializing in ed tech and international education. Together in this six episode podcast series, we talk to educators, learners, visionaries, and pioneers in online education from across the globe to look at the possibilities, challenges, and governance of online learning. Will online learning revolutionize educational access and opportunity? Or will it accelerate a downward spiral in educational quality? And what role will governance and related issues such as accountability, transparency, and inclusiveness play in determining the outcome? Join us as we explore the landscape of online education. Welcome to Episode Zero. In this introductory episode, we're going to provide you with some context and an overview of our series. Over the last decade, We've seen the emergence of new ways of teaching and learning online, which have been transformative. Enabling technologies make it possible to organize learning differently, with innovations in pedagogy, the way we teach, and in curricula, what we learn. It's now possible for students from across the globe to participate in the same class and yet learn at their own speed. Traditional boundaries such as classroom walls, time-based lessons, and age-based learning are disappearing rapidly. Education is becoming more accessible, affordable, and transparent. And with this transparency, we can see opportunities, problems, and challenges, not only in online education, but also in traditional education systems. Issues include accountability, quality, cost, and regulation. A goal of Project Ungoverned in this six-episode podcast series is to establish a common vocabulary around online education and governance. We're not expecting to find definitive answers, but to start a dialogue that listeners can take back to their schools, communities, and companies. If you're an online educator or student, an organization delivering online learning programs, a company creating enabling technologies, or just someone interested in good governance, this podcast is for you. Some of the questions we'll be exploring in our episodes include, what are the different types of online education, and what do we mean by governance in education? And what could the future of online learning look like with the development of more enabling technologies, including artificial intelligence and blockchain? As we explore these questions in our episodes, here are some things to keep in mind as you listen. First, there's the education ecosystem. We're learning everywhere and all the time. You can look at three types of education in the ecosystem, formal, informal, and non-formal education. Here's an example in the online world. Formal education would be my online university where I am enrolled as a part-time master's student. It's education delivered by a recognized educational institution. Non-formal education would be my online professional development program offered by my employer. It's organized learning, but offered by an organization that is not part of the formal education system. Informal education is casual learning. It might be taking online coaching sessions with a mentor or watching YouTube videos to learn how to fix something. Second, consider the global education agenda. According to UNESCO's most recent global education monitoring report, 264 million children and youth are not going to school. Furthermore, 750 million adults, or one out of seven, lack basic reading and writing skills. The UN Sustainable Development Goal number four is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and to promote lifelong learning opportunities for all by 2030. However, one in four countries don't have the resources to meet this goal. Therefore, more countries are looking to educational technologies, including online courses and mobile learning programs, as more affordable and scalable ways to deliver education. Third, the education technology industry is booming. According to the research group Knowledge Sourcing Intelligence, the global online education market is projected to grow more than 10% annually from $159 billion in 2017 to $286 billion in 2023. Yet there remain great gaps in the access and quality of education between the most privileged and the least privileged. 
Finally, here's a brief overview of our episodes. We start by talking about the rules of engagement in online education and identifying a common vocabulary for our governance discussions. Next, we look at some new ways of teaching online and move on to look at innovative international programs focused on increasing educational access. We then look at online schools and higher education and conclude by looking at future enabling technologies. Thank you for listening. Please tune into our podcast in the coming weeks by following us on iTunes or your favorite podcast listening service. You can find the links, show notes, and learn about our upcoming virtual symposium on January 24th, 2019 on our website at projectungoverned.com. That's it for episode zero of the Project Ungoverned podcast. Join us next for episode one when we dive into the topic of governance. Project Ungoverned takes place within the Bosch Alumni Network, a network which consists of people who've been supported in one way or another by the Robert Bosch Stiftung. The network is coordinated by the International Alumni Center, IAC Berlin, a think and do tank for alumni communities with social impact. The IAC supports this podcast series and symposium. If you want to know more about the power of networks, visit iac-berlin.org.